All right, we'll start it off like we always do with trying to trick you. Oh yeah. Let's start out with player puzzle. Player puzzle, man, let's do it. Yeah, with so many drummers out there, it's hard to tell the difference, but some stand out so well that they're absolutely recognizable. In player puzzle, we'll provide three hints to see if Adam can guess who's playing. Let's see if we can stump him. Please God, I hope I stump him. <laughs> it was funny, last week was the second stump. Second stump. That was it, right? And we're on, have we don't done eight of these? Eight player puzzles? Yeah, I think so. But two drummers each. So <laughs> I'm like 14 out of 16, somewhere around there. So I'm pretty proud of myself. We're getting there. But you're also running through some of the more like obvious ones. Like we've already done like, I don't know who's the most, rec like Greb is a good example of like, it's hard to get that yeah. wrong. But uh, we're getting into some sketchy territory here. So yeah. we're going to find out. What we can do. We'll get there. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We'll start out. Click on star. Star. Maybe the first audio clue. First audio clue. Let's do it. Player puzzle number one. Huh. So I have a guess based off of not just the style, because this particular person who I'm thinking of, um, I'll give you a hint for anybody at home, their initials, my guess, their initials are BS, and that's just a guess. I'm not, not totally convinced if it's this guy, but his playing style is, he definitely can do all of the drunk drumming and like the feel manipulation. But it's also the audio, because that audio was really dialed in. There was like an a and F vintage dryness to it. Uh, hmm. Not 100% convinced, but that was pretty dialed in. That whole package seems to fit one particular guy who I'm thinking of. But let's keep going. What's our next hint here for this guy? Or girl? Uh, this drummer only started... Only <laughs> They only stuttered. I only stuttered. <laughs> you stuttered saying I stuttered. stuttered, and they only started studying music at the age of 26. Ooh. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's a weird one, right? Do we know if they played drums before then? And like yeah. they began yeah. But they began studying. But began studying seriously music at age 26. More hmm. drums at age 26. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of close to how I was, right? Maybe not 26, but I, I didn't even glance at like real <clears throat> music notation or subdivisions or any of that stuff until I was 20, 21, but had played since like age 12. Huh. See, to me, that's just the, that's just an indicator that you have killer ears. Because if you can play for that long without studying anything, it's, it's because you're relying on your ears. Huh. Okay, what's our what's hint number three here? We got a kit photo. Got a kit photo. Hey, you can click on star. On star. On star. Oh, see, <laughs> that messes me up. Was is there? There's no reason to think that that first audio clip was played on a Roland. No, there's no reason. Nope. Mm, yeah, I don't think it was. Mm. Huh? Man, that's so tricky because the Roland kit. You do me dirty a little bit on this one because uh -huh. there's no well, there's no symbols, there's no heads. Mm. Right, so you don't get any of that context. Huh. And I don't know that this drummer that I'm thinking of would <clears throat> necessarily want to play on a on a roll. And he's such an audio nerd. Also a studio owner. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stick with my original guess. I'm not super confident the Roland is throwing me off. I don't actually know that this guy plays any electronics. Well, well here. Okay. I have two other kit photos. Okay, that might be helpful. So if you think Roland is cheating, well, it's just that I, I if we're if I was mm. going to determine it by the head endorsement, the symbol endorsement, any of that, right? Roland will never have those. So let's see. You're gonna drop box me? Or yeah, yeah. Drop me another Here, one. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me airdrop you a, another kit photo. Okay. Hmm. Evans, Minel, Tama. This is me helping you out. Yeah. So the Tama. Oh. 
I have a new guess. Mm. I have a new guess based off of this. The First of all, Tama is definitely helpful. The Roland makes sense now because this woman does play uh, does play Roland. And I recognize those that stack. That is actually not really a stack. Those are the D-pats. I believe this is sister, Annika Niles. It is. Yeah, Annika Niles. Man, it's a tricky one. She does that drunk drumming style so well. Yeah. So well, man. And also the reverse 10-12 or 12 10 if yeah, you want to say it yeah. that definitely helps as well okay man so what got me was the something about the feel and the mm. audio sound yeah. uh, brody simpson was my guess initially brody simpson um and i don't think he ever does electronic stuff because he's so into like the actual art of recording he's such yeah. a good like audio guy and that mixed it sound it sounded really really good um but annika does play like super dry washed out sounds and um, yeah, I mean, I suppose Tama and A and F, not a lot of crossover there. But she yeah. plays weird heads on her kit too, right? Yeah. Weird what is that Evans snare head? head? That black one, Onyx. Yeah, that Onyx Evans head. Uh, that that would be on her side snare that she. Yeah, has, she plays the two is... snare thing, kind of like Larnell sometimes. Yeah. I, yeah. Either on her right or her left, and she mixes between the two. Yep. Uh, the other hint too is that she prefers Bobinga for her personal kit, tuned, huh. tuned low. But Binga Tune Low, man, Bobinga. that is like as wet and heavy of a kit sound yeah, as you can get. But beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Babinga's amazing. Yeah, I've played the Thomas Star Classic Birch Babinga. Mm-hmm. Man, that's a special kit, man. It's such yeah. a such an awesome blend of woods for sure. And it records wet too. It has like such a such a slap to it, Babinga does. It's a really yeah. unique sounding wood. It's not it's it is low frequency, but it doesn't sound like walnut or mahogany where they're almost a little bit more in the dry thud sort of mm-hmm. sound but binga is like a low but like wet frequency it's really weird um low wet low wet i don't know yeah <laughs> all right cool that was a good one and a yeah. close one too a close one no you only got it because i gave you a second i'll give photo. you that i appreciate it i appreciate so it so that's a half win for me a half win i'll take it um half right. a w so it's a v N- next drummer up is boxing boxing go ahead and play boxing all right player puzzle number two here we go So that is an electronic kit. That one definitely is. Huh. Tricky, man. Tricky. The play style was interesting, too. Very experimental. Um, you could tell they were holding back a lot, though. Like, there were this, this drummer can definitely shred, but they didn't in this clip. So it's, it's fairly high level. I don't know from that. Mm. No guess yet. Let's go to our, uh, go to our next hint here. What's your hint? Your hint is... They play for the band The Hot at Nights. Oh, The Hot at Nights. I recognize that. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Initials for anybody playing at home would be NB. And this guy is, is severely underrated. Like very, very, very underrated. I've talked to several other friends of mine who play professionally and said, have you heard of this guy? And they go, no, I don't think so. And I'll show them clips of this guy playing, and they're just like, what the hell? Like, how on earth do I not know who this guy is? Everybody has that reaction. Um, so I'm glad he's on here, I'm, if I'm right, if I'm right. Yeah, he does play for the band The Hot at Nights. They're out of the Carolinas. Is that right? I think it's where he lives. North or South Carolina? Probably north. Okay, all right. What's our? right, let's do our kit photo here. All right, cool. It's also named Boxing in the Boxing. folder. Boxing. Interesting. See, this doesn't actually help me because i'm not i'm not totally sure of what his like final decisions were this guy signed with mine old somewhat recently um i want to say the last two years or so something like that i'm pretty sure pretty sure that this is brother nick baglio it is nick Baglio. yeah dude how hard does he shred oh my god it's so many videos of him playing and i was just like which one 
will I choose? Yeah. And it, that was not an electronic It wasn't. Hit. No, it was... It um, almost sounded like there was a certain... Maybe it was just, like, heavily compressed. He was playing a junk hat, which is that, like, wood with chains on he, it. He does play a lot of weird set. stuff, yeah. Um, with everything. I think he had, like, big fat snare drum on each, each drum there. Yeah. And was playing some... Uh, different pieces of his kit, real minimal setup. Gotcha, but yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he manipulates God. his audio a lot. I, I've definitely seen some videos of him where it's either, like, intentionally over-compressed just to get a, like, like, like industrial or industrious kind of sound where it's a little more metallic sounding, things like that. But, man, his... um. There, there's footage of him from, I want to say, as, as long as like 10 years ago, like clinics that you can find that he's yep, done yep. back on YouTube. Oh, my God. Just a, a very much an underrated player. And I say that not not to imply that people don't know who he is, but like the level of, of fame and notoriety that he has versus his actual playing doesn't quite line up. Yeah, like that it's guy not just, proportionate. Yeah, man. He is he can hang with some of the best of them, man. An absolutely incredible player. And I, I don't think I've ever met... Nick, him and I have just talked a lot online, mm -hmm. just texting and stuff like that over the years. I don't know that I've ever met him in person before. Um, I was in North Carolina one time randomly and tried to link up with him to get a lesson, honestly. Um, but yeah, man, incredible player. Go check out uh, brother Nick Baglio, man. He absolutely shreds. Yeah. And fellow minor artist. Yeah, Nicky Bags. Plays those, um, Bags. those Evans, the red... The reds, yeah. Yeah. Are they hydraulic, the reds? I don't know. Uh, crazy. They look, yeah. They look gross, but sound great. <laughs> yeah, they do sound good. Sound a lot so of control good. from those heads, from what yeah. I understand. Cool. Cool, man. That was a great one. All right. that's. Eh, I'm going to say that that's like one for two. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more content like this, I've got a ton of it waiting for you at the link in the description. Head over to orlandodrummer.com. It's an online drum school, very much in the style of Netflix. I've got 160 hours of drum content waiting for you there. Everything from in-depth masterclasses, interviews with pro drummers, extensive lesson packs, beginner all the way through pro. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find something you like, and I'll see you guys there.